Global Force Wrestling, not up for sale. This is BQ, and I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake. So Mike Johnson, PW Insider, reports that the Global Force Wrestling creative team going forward will be John Gaburik, Sanjay Dutt, and Scott Damore, with help from Dutch Mantel, Jeremy Borash, and Abyss. Now, before I get too further into this, it seems to allude to the fact that Jeff Jarrett is out of the company. But we're going to let that play out. We're not going to jump to conclusions because we know how these guys write. I tend to believe just about everything Mike Johnson says. And he even, in here, in this article, apologizes for reporting something incorrect. Something I had just said about half an hour ago that not enough wrestling, quote-unquote, journalists do. In regard to the report on Sports Illustrated that Anthem was trying to sell Global Force Wrestling, PW Insider has been told that they, there is no discussion going forward to shut down the company or sell the video library. That would be to WWE or anybody else interested in purchasing it. There is no plans in place to do so. Dave Meltzer. Are you calling me a liar? Reported incorrectly that Anthem was looking to shut down the office in Nashville and move it to Toronto. According to Ed Norholm directly, there are no plans to shut down that office. Now, where I said Mike Johnson did apologize, he reported that Karen Jarrett was also out of Global Force Wrestling. He has now says that is an error on his behalf and there is no decision where things stand with her at this time. If you've noticed, Jeff Jarrett's Twitter now says several new projects on the way. Bookings email at jj4jarrett at gmail.com. No mention on his Instagram or Twitter of Global Force Wrestling. Now this would be, would be really crazy here if Jeff Jarrett is forced out of his own company twice. Forced out of TNA, the company he helped build. And forced out of Global Force Wrestling. Now we also did report that he does own the Global Force Wrestling name. So if it is in fact that he is out, we could see another rebrand. But I tell you what, Global Force Wrestling fans, I would rather see another rebrand than see them sell the company and sell the tape library. What are your guys' thoughts? Again, as I reported, so I do not come off as some kind of fanboy, there's always truth in the middle. Two sides of every story, there's always truth in the middle. So we need to stand by for what is further said what is further reported and as more people from global force wrestling step up we're going to learn some more of the truths let's hope though that jeff jarrett isn't out we really don't want to see that happen and happen to a guy who if if it's true that he has issues with substance abuse the last thing i want to see to him happen is to lose his company twice especially with all the negative people like people like Rebby Hardy, Shane Helms, they want to see him fail. Let's hope for Jeff Jarrett. Pray for Jeff Jarrett. This is BQ. Subscribe to the channel. Global Force Wrestling fans, I will talk to you soon. Peace.